Stand by for the basketball. Stand by for the dream team. If you ever wanted to see how sports and entertainment is almost merging into one here at the Olympic Park, this is the place to come because here's the basketball arena and this is where the great entertainers as they see themselves, the Americans, are going to be striking out their bid for gold. They're taking on France to start. They assume they'll win. There's no shortage of egos or belief in this team. Winning in style is what's expected. Some of them think they have as much of that as the dream team of 1992. Others just want that gold medal. Well, we're not really worried about entertaining. Uh, we just want to go over there and just win, win basketball games, win the gold medal. Um, you know, throughout the course of the game, uh, if we plan the way we know how to play and, you know, winning the game, and that's, that's entertaining to us. But they are entertainment for a vast media presence here in London, and they are a dream team for print and comment. Since the last Olympics, they won the gold medal, and you see the egos spurring up a little bit, comparison themselves to you know the original dream team, and they put a tag on a, a target on their back when they did that. And now you know it's about trying to beat uh, Team USA. Can be done. Very very difficult. Wouldn't bet against them, but it's possible. And as for their fans. What do they think? They're great individuals, but as a team, I think they have a little hard time gelling. I mean, they're, they're great, talented players, and uh, they like showcasing their abilities, so we'll see what they have to bring this year. It's not only the senior team. Few would bet against them, but in any case, as box office, they are unbeatable. David Eads, BBC News, at the Olympic Park.